Okay, today we're going to talk about how link sharing isn't dead, even in Samsung's One UI 4.0 and 4.1. So we'll see here, we've got my phone. Let's go to our settings here. We'll go to about, and we'll see here that I am on One UI version four, Android 12. This is a Galaxy S20 Ultra. So I am updated to the version four. So what's happened is Samsung's tried to discontinue the link sharing option that a lot of people find in the settings for your share options. I have a video about this. I'll link to it in the upper right corner. You can take a look at that and see what I'm talking about. So if we want to share this video here, this is from a previous video that I just completed and we click on share. Normally right up around here, we would have an option for link sharing. However, we don't. What they've done is they've changed link sharing and integrated it into quick share down here you'll see quick share let's select quick share now that quick share is open we can go ahead and we can either use a qr code this will generate a link and start uploading the file to the link sharing service with samsung or we can select share in an app this will also initiate the upload to the link sharing service from Samsung. So let's select share in an app. And this will produce the app drawer that you can select which app. You can copy your link, go to messages. You can select more and share in a bunch of different apps. If you have WhatsApp uh, or Twitter or something like that, that you want to share a file in from your link sharing, you can do that there or we can select copy link. You can see copy to clipboard. Now, if we want to find this file in our link sharing, we're gonna have to go to settings and we'll see here that we're in our quick share settings. And there's an option here in the middle called link sharing history. If we select that, we can see that the files that we've shared via link sharing are available. You can see the ones that we've sent ones that we've received and all. And this is where we can manage our shared files. If you want to delete some of them, you can select delete, check the ones that you want to delete. And these ones here, you can't delete because these ones are still sharing. So once we go into the item and stop sharing, we'll be able to come back out here and select them for deletion. If you want to manage one, you select it. And down at the bottom here, we can see you can generate a new QR code for it. You can share it in an app. You can download it from the link sharing, even though it's on your phone, or you can stop sharing. We'll select stop sharing. Yes. So you can see this one has expired. And it's the same as it was with link sharing. It's just a few more clicks to get through. Now you'll also notice that if we go to our apps, there actually is no quick share application. What we do have to do is you can still search for it in your quick search. It's part of the advanced features now. So what we have to do is swipe down, go to settings, go all the way down to advanced features. And there's quick share here. Click on quick share. And here's your quick share and link sharing settings and history where you can share and unshare things. Now you can still go into your Windows app, just like my previous video, and you should be able to see the link shared files that are there for the link sharing service and download them just like you were able to previously. So link sharing is not gone. It's just a little more of a pain to get to and use. Not as easy as just a button on your phone or an app, but it it is still there, it's just further integrated and a little more difficult to get to. So I hope this has helped you with sharing your still large files just a little bit more of a roundabout way. 
Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.